guys, welcome back to Kumasau Reviews, and I know more snail shell, but I'm absolutely not sorry because I love them. So anyway, this is their latest exclusive. Not their latest figure, their latest exclusive. It is the uncoated, which means black and red decoed version of their Jinru uh, swimsuit wolf. So this is GN001 wolf. This is swimsuit edition, but the uncoated version. Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasau Reviews, and I know more snail shell, but I'm absolutely not sorry because I love them. So anyway, this is their latest exclusive. Not their latest figure, their latest exclusive. It is the uncoated, which means black and red decoed version of their Jinru uh, swimsuit wolf. So this is GN001 wolf, this is swimsuit edition, but the uncoated version. I'm not going to go too crazy over reviewing this figure, ins and outs and things like that, because you guys know what all it does, because I previously reviewed the um, regular swimsuit edition. So ins and outs of this are covered, but accessory-wise, brighten this up a little bit, it comes with the exact same accessories as the regular swimsuit did, plus a little hoodie. That one doesn't zip up or anything like that, just a one button up top in the front. We'll take a look at that. But a little suitcase dealie. Oh. That is a cool add-on. I don't wanna miss that, but it does house her gun, her blaster, as well as the blade to it. Then it just close it up. But yeah. Umbrella, blade, variety of feet, faces. One thing I will say about this one, as you can see, I have a couple of them. And don't worry, I didn't take all the Ami Ami orders or anything like that. I've had these since Wonderfest, um, where they originally released. But the paint on the tabs that connect these hose type pieces, these metal wires, to her backpack as well as the gun, you can see they have the red paint on them and it's really thick. So either scrape the red paint off of the connection point or be really careful and maybe even drill out the holes a little bit because it's significantly thicker than the gold ones that came with the original swimsuit. So just fair warning there. Okay, just give you guys a roundabout of uncoated swimsuit herself. Don't worry, we'll do some mixing and matching later. Now I gave you guys a rundown of the accessories. This part here is modular. It comes unattached. As well as the tail piece. This piece comes off. So oh, hold on. this cylinder pack has an adapter, which lets it go on. So, cool stuff. Okay, and I just want to show you guys the movable eye gimmick. It's been in their last couple of releases, the swimsuit as well as the wasp girl. And I think this is what it'll be going forward. But you just stick that piece in the back of the eye. There's a cross section. So just stick it in there. And it's hard to like hold the head while doing this. So, Bear with me for a second here, but hopefully you can see there in the eye. Yeah, it is moving around, but. There we go. And for those wondering, the umbrella is still absolutely too heavy for this figure to carry. I lucked out and after about uh, five minutes of fiddling around, found a groove in that turnstile to uh, Get it to stay up on its own, but yeah, big die cast stick, uh, pretty pointless. Okay, and of course, gotta get the comparison with the um, original swimsuit edition. So, you see, molding is exactly the same, only difference is uh, coloring. Okay, you know what, I think that one might have been right, but eh, it's okay. I shouldn't have touched it. 
But one thing I will say about these figures, getting a lot better with Swimsuit and Wasp Girl, but in general, it's always good to have a bottle of Kiki Joint Fix or whatever as well. Um, just because they are a bit loose, and especially with the heavier pieces like the die cast, staff, the heavier plastic with the umbrella, um, if you want them to hold those things especially, uh, you're going to need it. So yeah, but side by side comparison with the original swimsuit. Okay, so what we're doing is ending this review with an uncoded Super Show. In fact, no, I got one more thing to show you after this, but right now, taking a look at, of course, the uncoded swimsuit edition, the uncoded armor. So, and we got a couple of just variations and stuff like that. This one right here, as well as this one, are a mix and match between the swimsuit as well as the armor. So, just different bodies, legs are swapped out, like she's wearing the backpack. These guys are fully compatible. Even their, I guess, breasts are removable and can interchange with each other. This one here, it's just the uncoated, but it's a second one. And it, um... It, the uncoated comes with multiple options, so you can have her mask, unmasked, things like that. Both of these are all uncoated uh, armor parts. This one, plain uh, swimsuit, and these two are mix and match between the two of them. Hopefully that makes sense. But, to close this out, I'm actually going to show you my snail shell collection, because it's gotten kind of crazy. And okay, so capping it off, uh, I want to show you guys my snail shell collection. Okay, back off of it a bit. But top shelf, I'm keeping that for every release to date. So swimsuit, uncoated swimsuit, wasp girl, uh, original wolf girl, uncoated armor, regular armor, and this is the original release hoodie which I reviewed on this channel that comes with the additional shoes and things like that. Um, I have a couple of them because I have a couple of the OGs. They come in the special, um, I guess, I don't know what to call it. It's like a ballistic type case, but it's pretty cool. Packaging is neat. And then this is kind of my mix and match shelf because one thing that's cool about these figures is that they all do in fact mix and match and everything like that. So a lot of those are varied. Uh, this is a regular uncoated swimsuit. I'm gonna figure out something for her. But just showing off things like the um, the hoodie set as well for the regular swimsuit. Uh, got a couple more originals and things like that mixed and matched in there. And then this is just kind of a hodgepodge. This is a regular uncoated. So yeah, but obviously I'm a fan of this company if you guys haven't noticed but there we go snail shell is pretty awesome and i look forward to seeing what they come out with next